this is a quick review of um, a battery uh, controller board YX1708 uh, this particular board is supposed to control the charge of lead acid battery when the battery um, uh, uh, potential drops over uh, drops below certain limit it should um, switch the battery into the charge mode and when uh, battery charges over a certain limit it switches back to load mode um, it's practically zero documentation on the internet um, I've seen people uh, writing about connecting it to the mains and blowing it up uh, for some reason they think this is the main connector and uh, the actual relay you can't see it here but the relay used is Songul SLA 12 VDC SLC and just over here it says 30 amps 250 VAC um, I think this is what's confusing and, and I think this is why <laughs> the one I bought it actually got sticker over it so people don't connect it to the mains this is not for the mains this is the charger port so you connect the charger over here load over here and the battery over here and uh, all this thing does is switches um, the battery from load to the to the charge and from charge to load. This is this I drew the diagram. Um, this is the relay, Songul relay. Um, the battery is connected to one of the terminals and charger in the other one and load the third one. Um, the, all, all all the ground is connected together. Um, so in a normal mode, or when you switch it from uh, uh, for, for the first time, or when it was powered off, um, it connected to the charger. So if the charger is connected, it starts charging the battery straight away. All the monitoring is done over here. Uh, so if uh, uh, the, when the charger uh, uh, goes over the, uh, the the potential on the battery goes over the limit, top limit, it switches into the load mode, and then. If you have some load in here and it start draining the battery, it goes below low limit, it switches back to charger. So it cuts off the, the supply and goes back to charger. So the, the, someone was asking their questions, what happens, is the charger, uh, um, if charger is connected and battery is connected, uh, uh, are, are they like, um, uh, are, are they both active? No, not really, because um, it, it switches in, uh, it switches charger off when the battery is connected, so the charger doesn't do anything, just connected to nothing. Um, right, so what, let me just show you quickly the mode of operation. So let's pretend that our power supply is the battery. So let's say battery is at 24 volts. Um, the green LED is um, just the, the indicator that the, the board has got power um, it will light up regardless if, if, if it is battery connected or battery disconnected and charger is connected doesn't matter uh, it will the, the board will be powered and this just shows that the board is powered the red one is supposed to indicate when uh, the relay is switches to the load mode when the battery is actually uh, um, yeah, gives gives all the power to the load um, so this supposed to automatically switch when uh, when the battery charging over a certain limit at the moment default position is charged so let's pretend that the battery is charging 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 so now it's charged it's charged it disconnected from the charger connected to the load so this is what, what it indicates then we take the load we, we discharge the battery discharge charge 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 and now 
it switches back to charger so it cuts off the load um, I, I, I set it up about 20 to, to, to 29 something uh, for my purposes but you can adjust it it's got two potentiometers over here which 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 control the limits let me see which one controls which one um, This one controls the uh, top limit, and this one controls the bottom limit. Yeah, uh, needs to be measured anyway. Um, um, right. Um, this, uh, for example, if if the battery is um, uh, in the charge mode like it is now, um, the load is disconnected. But there is a way to force. Uh, the uh, battery switch to switch to the load mode. I've got this over here. It's got uh, the, uh, the, uh, the the board has got J1 uh, connector. So if you short socket this, it, it should switch to the load mode. Uh, the J1 connector is just over here, right there. These two. This is G1. So if if I short circuit them, it's supposed to switch on, but it, it wouldn't because it, we are below low limit. So let's say we are in the um, normal battery charge, but we're still charging, but we already can use the battery, so we can force it by short circuiting this. There you go. Now we are, uh, it, and and. At this point, there is no way of switching it back to charge mode. The only way is to switch it off and switch it on. So disconnect the battery and uh, connect the battery again, then relay resets, it goes into the charge mode and uh, it starts charging again. Um, the, the actual relay connection is over here, these two. They are connected to uh, plus 12. I'm going to show it to you just in case you want to have an indication. Of uh, um, in which position uh, relay is. So this is ground. So we got 12 volts in here and 12 volts in here. If if I switch it to um, charge mode, sorry, to the battery output mode, I get the top one is basically a ground and the bottom one is 12. So if you connect LED with the um, potentiometer between the, the legs of the coil, um, when the coil is um, uh, it's got uh, a plus twelve and plus twelve is, is not going to light, and then when when one of them drops to 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 the ground, then it will light. But on the other hand, if you connect another LED between the uh, the one that changes to the ground so when it changes it will it will be equal to ground uh, uh, and an LED will go off and and in in a normal state it will, it will be on so but by connecting like this you, you you can have two LEDs that will alternate between the you know just showing because um, the ones the, the LEDs provided they're not sufficient for this if if you if you want just indicate the um, the state of relay, so it's quite easy to do. Um, what else? And the relay is preset when you buy it is preset, um, and uh, it gives you um, 
the range it wishes to set. Uh, I measured it when I bought it's not exactly what it says here so you, you might as well just measure it yourself and set it yourself for, for the limit that you need because all the battery is different and the use condition is different so yeah and of course this indicates where the J1 is short circuit uh, unfortunately all the uh, docs in uh, poorly translated and uh, uh, a little bit difficult to understand what they mean but here you go I don't think there's anything else to say about it <coughs> just that the relay is really really powerful so you can handle um, a current good current for the battery charge um, yes so uh, yeah, there you go. You, there, are, there are different relays you can buy. Uh, sorry, relays the, the charger boards you can buy. The ones that, that come with the digital indicator for uh, the voltage, and you can set it with buttons. They're probably okay. Um, I just bought this one. Don't know why. Um, and, and it's gonna serve my, the, the purpose for which I bought it. So um, it's okay. I mean, it looks looks quite good. Okay.